in BIM software and uh, ARCHICAD uh, in particular, uh, this you know, perceived uh, performance in combination with very high performing technology underneath provides you best in class uh, user experience. And uh, that's what we uh, want to uh, enhance big time in ARCHICAD 23. And to show you that, let me invite Enike on stage. Thank you, Akush. Hello, everyone. All right. So this is one thing when we explicitly know what project to open. And that, but there is another case when we're uncertain about that. So let's see an example on what happens if we don't know exactly what project to open. And uh, start ARCHICAD again to see how startup works from now on. In ARCHICAD 23, we've got a brand new startup dialog box with a lot of additional features. Uh, if we don't know the name exactly, we can use the search field to type something. And this search field does not only searches in the file names, but also in the project info. If you are more visual kind, you can also use the preview pictures. Now, these preview pictures are not just static images, but they play a slideshow about the open tab pages of your project. So another easy way to choose your uh, project you're going to continue with. And the good news is that while we're spending our time here to pick the project, in the background, uh, the computer con continues to load the different uh, parts of the software into the memory. So by the time we click on anything here, it will be up and running uh, to open our project. We also have a nice list view. And uh, the last case I'd like to emphasize here is what if I'd like to open multiple projects in one run. So from now on, it is also possible. Uh, you can have multi-selection. And if you click the Open button, it will start as many ARCHICAD instances as necessary to open all projects selected here. OK, so let's quit this for now and return to our real project. That is uh, a nice residential building from AGP Architects uh, built in Southampton, uh, UK. This is an award-winning residential tower project. Um, special thanks to the company to uh, let us use it as a demonstration. So this is my project. Um, but before we start actually design, we have to think about where all these previous questions go. And uh, for those poop people who are really in charge of um, sorting out the questions, like uh, the managers or project coordinators, we designed a center interface that is called the Action Center. So this interface collects all diagnostic data from now on. And uh, these people can find those. There is a direct access to those dialog boxes where actually the problems can be solved. And it is also color-coded. So once a problem is solved, the, the color will instantly change in the Action Center view. All right. So the second um, challenge to work effectively is finding the right way we like to develop our model. And in case of such a complex project, it sometimes is a challenge, because we might have many different uh, pages open, and it is hard to distinguish which is which, right? So for example, here I have many uh, views open, but because the beginning of the view name is the same, I have no idea what is what. So we could go with the traditional try and error way and just start and open it, but it would require a lot of time, and we all know time is money. So instead, from ARCHICAD 23, what you can do, you can just simply hover your cursor over the preview to show its content. So whichever view I like to go, all I need to do, I hover my cursor over the view, and as you can see, it immediately shows you the picture, how it looked like before I left this page. All right, so now our project is healthy, our issues are solved. Now we can find the view easily. That is great. So all we need to do now is design and develop our model. Finally, great. Um, so let's talk about view updates now. Because this is also a quite challenging thing. We um, model something, so how long we've got to wait until all the relevant views get updated. 
let's do a little experiment. So we've got this uh, flow plane here, and we also have uh, a 3D. So now I'm going to do some modeling. Uh, of course, just for the sake of the demo, I'm going to place some walls on the top of this roof here. So what is going to happen if I switch back to the flow plan? Is it going to redraw the entire thing just for the sake of these three walls? Let's try. Of course not. So the view is there in instantly, and in a fraction of seconds, my new walls appear. <laughs> so um, in this demo, uh, we could just show you uh, these examples on how we improve the performance of HockeyCAD 23, but there are many other areas in the software when you can meet these enhancements. So I uh, wish you to try it with your own workflow and find your favorites. Thank you.